Now, we've got our fire going, and that's got tree sap and a bit of water in it. What I'm going to show you is how to make a bush band-aid. Now, we just need to heat up that, and then melt it, and then once that's done, we'll show you how to do the rest. But for now, we'll just try and get this heated up. I'm going to try to shock them so. Melting it in. I want to put one in. No, no, get it out. Get, 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 it, out. get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get that one out. I want to light it. I want to light. No, not like that. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it Well, it's taking some time, but... That's a video. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is work. I've seen it on TV a few times. So I might not be 100% successful. But um, Put that one work. back in. Put that one back in. You want Fuck. Don't... Sorry. Do you know how much that hurt? You know what we didn't do yet. Oh. It's not working out 100%, but it's actually... The water's getting warm. This is the last one, so don't stuff it up. Give us a match. Yeah, the match will be good. If we take that off for a second, chuck in some tip and we'll put over some more twigs. Now, I've got a good cameraman here today, my friend Jack, and my brother here, George, is down here helping me. Now, we're going to make another video after this on how to make spears, and um, we're all going to make a spear. Now, there are many different types of spears. But the spears we're making will be good. Really good. Now, as you can see, I've got twigs there. It's not the best. I'll just light my Q-tip there. Put the matches in. Light this match. Put it in there. Put that back over the top. Like that. And that's actually not bad. Now, once that heats up, choose my trusty old screwdriver to, this is actually getting pretty hot, so um, we're just going to keep someone adding more twigs. I don't know if George would like to do that. George. See, that's getting nice and soft. That's what we wanted to do. Try and get this tree sap heated nice and soft. Now um, we'll just be back in a bit when that's nice and soft. The water's boiling. Might need to add a bit more water. Oh, wait, give me this. Use that. Not much. Add twigs from there. Oh, that's too big. Add a bit of time. So you, don't, so you don't knock over it. Yeah. We want to make three to more from this. Is it dry? Yeah, leaving stuff. So it's alright. Now, in a survival thing, you're pr probably going to use anything you could find, such as leaves. And never use this stuff because you'll make lots of fire. And if you see a helicopter or something, that's when you use the green stuff and make a lot of smoke to pass the signalling plane, helicopter, um, water plane to, for help. And as you can see, the bubbles in that water, that means the water's starting to boil. And um, once we can get this fire going, then once we can get this fire good going, so I'll just lighten this. Now, yes, you're not going to have most likely 
not going to have a lighter in a survival thing, but it's what we've got, and that's what we're going to use. And George, that won't work. Need. Get some dry grass. Put it upside down. Pass me that quickly, George. You're wasting the ink in that the gas. Now, we'll just be back in a bit and then we'll show you the rest. Oi, okay, some dry old grass. Now that's doing pretty well. Just get that. We've got to get this stuff nice and dewy stuff. You just got to soften it down a bit, not heaps. Just a bit. Just a bit. No, I think that's done. Yeah. Now when putting out a fire, don't chuck your stuff in the bush. Use a rock or something of some sort and just crush down all the bits and pieces that you've just used. And, um, it's always best to make sure that you do that because you never know, you could start a massive fire. Yes, that could benefit in one way of getting attention and help, but it's not good. Now we've done that, we'll just let this cool down a bit. Now, as you, oh, that's very hot. As you can see, it's just going to boiling point. But once that cools down, just pour out some of this water. And you might not have realised, but this is an old deodorant can that I'm using right here, the bottom of a deodorant can. Make sure you wash it out first, otherwise you'll blow yourself up. As you can see, I've got most of that water out. Still okay. Now, if you get have cuts, I don't have any cuts on me, but well, I've got a few. Oh, but boy. if you have any cuts and sores, like here, over here on Jack, um, if you don't want um, you to get yourself to get infected, use some of this, and um, this might feel a little, little gooey. You just put it on, you squish it on. Rub it along there, and that will make like a sticky layer over the top of it to make sure that it doesn't get infected. Now, sometimes people can get this to a really nice gooey substance that it actually just sticks on you. Right, you just get rub that nice and on. Does it feel weird? Yeah. Yeah, you just rub that on it. It should protect you, and once that dries off, it should be very good. Now, um, that's all that we have for this video. Next one will be on making spears. See ya.